Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I will share with you guys things you shouldn't do to your relaxed hair after getting relaxer. <laughs> So my name is Naomi, if this is your first time here, you're so welcome and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in. So I've been doing relaxed hair videos back to back, I hope you guys really enjoy it and you'd like to see more, which is why I'm going ahead to film today's video for you guys. I'm just going to dive right into it. You probably have heard this before, but you just don't know why and I'm going to tell you why. The very first thing you shouldn't be doing to your relaxed hair after getting a touch up in the first couple of weeks is getting braids, getting waves, and doing whatever it is you like to do to your hair. Other than just leaving the hair alone, you shouldn't be doing anything like that at all to your hair. Do you want to know why? Because your hair literally just went through a relaxer process, a chemical process, which is um, which can be very damaging to your hair. If I do say so myself, um, whether you like it or not, relaxers can be damaging. Relaxed hair after getting a relaxer is dry. It can be dry. It can be flaky. It can feel like it's dead. I'm not joking. I was looking at my hair this morning. It felt like what is going on. But you do not want to go and get give your hair to a stylist right now for them to start braiding or to start weaving because your hair is dry. It's brittle. It's if it, it feels like. It doesn't need anybody to touch it. I don't know if you feel like that. Sometimes. The next time you're touching your relaxed hair, um, do not go in dry. Always, always ensure that there's something, um, there's something on your hand. And when I mean something on your hand, maybe um, like a leave-in, a leave-in conditioner or a moisturizer, right? You always want to have your hands, you know, coated with some of this product because your hair is dry and you do not want to or start manipulating dry hair you might end up um, causing breakage and that's what we're trying to avoid as much as possible so uh, I did say I was I was um, I was looking at my hair today because I didn't touch my hair at all yesterday and in fact I haven't really touched my hair much since I relaxed it on Saturday so I've just been I just I'll just get my leave-in conditioner and apply on the surface and put it in a in a bun like this and just step out of the house so um yeah today i was looking at it i was really going into the parts of my hair and i could feel um inside the hair i could feel it dry i could feel it really really dry and my scalp would itch me a little bit so i knew that my scalp is dry and my hair feels dry that's what relaxer does relaxer will literally leave your hair dry so um you want to go ahead and apply some sort of um, moisture a moisturizer or a leave-in conditioner not a hair cream a hair cream is basically like oil they just sit on top of your hair and make your hair shine but they don't really actually penetrate to your hair into your scalp except only maybe you're sitting under a dryer and you know the heat can actually open up your cuticles and allow this product to penetrate your scalp but if you're just applying hair cream hair cream would do little or um, nothing to actually really moisturizing your hair and your scalp so your scalp would need a good hair oil while your hair would need a moisturizer and, and also a, a um, hair oil to seal that moisture in place i hope you get what i'm saying so um yeah you want to stay away stay away from anything that has to do with braids weave on um tiny braids um crochet right now i mean if your hair is long enough you can rock it this is the time to actually rock your hair you know those times where youtubers be saying oh you need to put your hair in a protective style you need to put your hair in this style and you're like ah but what's not the point i'm growing my hair so that i can show it off and you know get compliments and you know do beautiful um cute clean girl style that i have seen on pinterest or instagram now is the time to do that okay now is the time to do that but keep in mind that the hair is fragile relaxed hair newly relaxed hair is fragile is weak you need to be careful at this point you want to treat your hair with a lot of TLC 
when I say TLC, I mean tender love and care. You want to treat it like an absolute baby, like a newborn baby, so that you don't do too much and end up breaking your hair in the process. I really hope this makes sense. So, um, which brings me to my thought. It's important to actually wash your hair at least once a week. If you cannot get around to washing your hair once a week, maybe do it once in two weeks if you can yeah if you're like super super busy and you cannot um, wash your hair once a week or you cannot even go into the salon to book an appointment to get your hair washed you should try as much as you can to do it at least um, once in two weeks because um, in all that um, time you've been applying product to the hair you've been moisturizing you've been putting leave-in you get what I'm saying your hair must have gathered some sort of build up and you need to wash it off because the truth is a healthy scalp will equals healthy hair your hair starts from your scalp it grows out from your scalp if your scalp is dirty and clogged with um, dirt and dandruff and cream and product build up there is really no way your own hair can become healthy i really hope this makes sense um i've i've tried to uh i recently just started washing my hair once a week before i used to forget safe like i i would i don't keep count so if you it will help if you set a reminder on your phone that oh i washed my hair on saturday the other day i washed it on thursday so thursday this week is going to be one week so i need to find time to wash my hair you can do that nights before you go to bed you can quickly blow dry whatever but try as much as you can to wash your hair at least once a week and from my research i learned that using a sulfate free conditioner and shampoo is just great instead of because your hair just went through that chemical process you do not want to put back any sort of chemical to your hair or anything that weigh your hair down so the the ingredients of each product of each shampoo or conditioner is always on the body it's always on the label look out for the label among the first three um, ingredients you see, if you don't see sulfate there, then you know it's, it doesn't contain sulfate. If there's sulfate, among the first three products or ingredients they have listed there, you definitely see sulfate. Right, so you need to nourish your hair and your scalp as much as possible right now, okay? I actually even think that the, on my next wash day, I will be adding a bit of aloe vera to my hair so that it can, you know, add all that moisture to my hair because that's what my hair needs right now. So, uh, which brings me to my next point, um, condition, deep conditioning. I have a video where I talked about the difference between rinse out, your regular rinse out conditioners and your deep conditioner. You want to invest in deep conditioners because these ones add extra, some sort of extra moisture, extra um, vibe to your hair. They just leave your hair soft, feeling fresh and, you know, well, um, easy to manage other than just using a, a normal rinse out conditioner and if you're using a rinse out conditioner please do not be in a hurry to wash it out really quickly the only way a rinse out conditioner would work you know effectively on your hair is when you leave it for a couple of minutes max 10 minutes you can leave it longer but 10 minutes is like ideal for you to leave a regular rinse out conditioner on your hair so that it can actually work and you know soften your hair that's the goal because you want to wash your hair and then condition it and then go ahead to use a deep conditioner i know you must be asking me now so what are you what are you trying to say now are you saying that I can no longer get braids on. No, not at all. That's not what I'm saying. Okay. Um, you can totally get braids on maybe a couple of weeks after. I did say two weeks, right? So two weeks later, you can of course, you know, get your braids. But please, eh, is there any need to do tight braids? Like do you do you crave? Is there a pleasure you derive from you know doing tight braids? Like those very, very tight ones that will be pulling at your edges and you cannot sleep at night, you have to take Panadol, anything that makes you uncomfortable, the moment they start it and I'm already feeling I cannot bear it, I would say, I would tell them to stop, like, this is how I'm built, I no longer enjoy, or I'm, I'm no longer a, 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 a fan of the word beauty is pain, don't let anybody deceive you, it doesn't have to hurt for you to look extremely beautiful please it, it's not worth losing your edges over that hairstyle is not worth having a headache over don't do it don't do it girl. guys that's it thank you so much i i really just wanted to share this here everything i just told you guys right now is the exact same thing i've been doing to my hair since i learned it on this lax hair journey i learned from watching other youtubers like me i learned from googling and just i 
I learned from experience, you see. So um, a lot of these things I would say are things I've practiced and they've worked and things um, my personal experience and I really hope to share with you guys. And hopefully if you apply any of these things, if they work for you, great. And uh, if you figure out stuff on your own by yourself, that's even more perfect because I'm big on listening to your hair. Um, you have to listen to your hair. It's not always what Naomi said, what that person said. What is your hair saying? listen to it understand it and do what was best for your hair i really hope this video has been helpful so yeah if you like it please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what are the things you're doing to your relaxed hair at this moment let me know share it with me i will be there in the comment section with you guys subscribe if you're not subscribed click on the bell so that you always get notification every time we upload new videos and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys Mwah.